Is she's your wife? I am your paragon. Wait, she's your wife and she was cheating on you. Wait, what? Dude, okay, there was a lot to unpack there. <laughs> Pause. I thought they were just like hopeless romantics. That girl and Bronco were just roommates. They were close friends. Dwarf corpse. I needed people to test. Darkspawn corpse. Traps. There's no way to break through except by trial and error. They were all mine. Pledged to be my house, and they didn't want to help. They tried to leave me, even my Hespeth. But even she couldn't understand that when you read, there are sacrifices, as many sa sacrifices as are needed. So she told her people march into the trap so it could figure out how to do it. Lady, you're so si like honestly, I thought you were smart. All you got to do is max out this skill right here. That's it. You could disarm the traps. You don't need to like feed your house to them. I thought you were a paragon. You stupid. Let's see. Scatter shot. Oh my gosh, all the damage. Now we go back to crap damage for a bit. Bug bullies NPCs, only the ones that deserve it. Any y'all ever seen the movie True Lies? I'm sure some of you was before your time. There was one excellent line in there. The husband is, he's like a secret agent guy. And he's handcuffed, and his wife is handcuffed. They've both been caught. She doesn't know what the hell's going on. And he's been dosed with truth serum. And she's like, Frank? And he's like, yeah. And she's like, have you killed people? And he's like, yeah, but they were all bad. And she's like, oh. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but they were all bad. If I must. She should have gone. She was delighted. Pledged to me. She swore she'd do whatever it took to find the anvil. There was no other choice. Most of them were dying of the taint already. But some the women were transforming. I knew what they would become. There would be an endless supply, fresh dark spawn to test the tr Oh God, she knew they were going to become brood mothers and let them so that more dark spawn would test out Keridan's traps? Lady, you are in the head. Traps, they could still serve me. Let me find the anvil. It was the only way. How do I? Oh, I can't shoot her. I'm sensing more dark spawn. <laughs> Time to end their pathetic little existences. Ogren, please get the emissary. Yes. Okay, emissary. I can fix her. <laughs> Banana, I'm proud of you. That's the first thing you've ever said that was funny. So rude, it was a compliment. They had pledged me their loyalty. They had no right to fight me. They say your order is renowned for its wits as well as its brawn. Perhaps you'll do that. And so I shall. There's something about this place. It makes people despair. So, uh, she's in Karenin's trap. So far the traps has just freaking killed Archbond. Like, big freaking deal. Like, get good, lady. Ooh. 
Oh no. Pocket sand. I gave him the Hadouken special. Quick save. And so I shall. <laughs> Here we go. Of course. Oh, interesting. If you start channeling scattershot on something and it dies before the shot's completed, the shot doesn't fire and you still lose a bunch of the stamina. This lady sacrificed your own loyal people for her own personal goal. Yeah, this is the epitome of some of you may die, but that's a sacrifice I'm willing to make. <laughs> Wait, am I taking damage? Let's go fight out there. It's not stinky out here. Shale's like, oh no, he's hot. Definitely gonna fight y'all out here, not in there. That seems like a much better idea. <laughs> here comes Ogren! Here comes Ogren! Number four. I should like a trophy. Now, this is more like it. Okay, that's four dead golems. Book serve. Gas valves. And so I shall. Hey, fixed it. Okay. Book say. I'm very glad we didn't fight in that room, getting hit by that the whole time. Delighted. Are you telling me the Paragon never tried turning the valves See there? off? That's a trap. I would watch out where are you. <gasps> I got spooked. Ah. Okay, I'm fine, I'm fine, I'm fine. Oh my god. Her title is Paragon, not Gas Valve Diner. But she sent all those people of Dark Spawn in there, and you're telling me none of them tried turning the Gas Valves off? Such 
a lot of work. Oh my god. Alright, hold position. Y'all gonna jump me again? We all just get a Don't do it! You! Okay, that's not good. Must it always be more killing? Oh man, how do I play the healer? Uh, first off, anyone that starts taking damage, we immediately give them regeneration. Heels. That's not enough right now, so let's do the let's do group heal. As you say. And then single target heal again. What's the duration of regen? Oh wow, regen wears off fast. Work. Try stunning it? No. What was that noise Ogden just made? We're out of combat. Come on, Muckla, get up. Oh boy. Deafened. Penalty to defense. That scared me. I'm not proud of it. That was my own dude! What was I doing? Uh, Song of Valor. That's the Song of Valor. Okay. I'm singing the song of my people, chat. Was your summon? I know it was my summon. It was noisy. As you desire. That just the anvil or an anvil? Oh, it's the guy with the turny faces from the Transformers movie. I love this guy. Innocent. Time to end their pathetic little existence. I just, yo, a freaking deep memory just came up, chat. In the Transformers movie, there was a robot, and it had four faces, and they would spin around depending on its mood. And this is like the animated Transformers movie from like, you know, 1950 or whatever. And it would like, do like this mock trial, and it would go, innocent. And then the freaking floor would fall, and they would fall into like a, like the robot would fall into a tank of like robot piranhas. And it, it freaking messed me up as a kid. Because I thought, I was like, oh, innocent means they did the crime and they need to die. So, for years, I had the definitions of innocent and guilty crisscrossed because of that bleeping robot. <laughs> I don't know if it was a translation error or what, I, I but y true story. Just because he would say innocent, then kill them. I was like, oh, innocent means they gotta go. 
What's up at Mutluck and Chat? Hype for GW2 News Pack? <laughs> Hype indeed. There you go. Welcome back. Thank you for the Prime sub, my friend. I appreciate that. Yes. I am hyped for it. Wait. Why did it uh, reabsorb them? I hope this isn't a DPS race. Because I will fail it. Oh wait, there's a right-click thing over here? Spirit Anvil? What's this? Oh. It appeared... It looked like it maybe did damage to the thing in the middle. Oh no, use a health cultist. It's done, oh no. <laughs> shit. Use revive. All done. I have done it. Down you. Oh wait, can't she... Oh, can I click on that? Ah, that's right, I forgot. Mages can uh, click on Lyrium to get mana back. I've been playing a dwarf, and dwarf are immune to Lyrium. So, I'm not used to it. Dude, we are getting rocked right now. Of course. The AI of our companions keeps wanting to just, like, run up and do nothing to the thing in the middle because they can't attack it. Uh, it's just not great. Fish like crush. What's this? That's it. I have painful memories of this on Nightmare. I'm guessing by the context of that sentence that Nightmare is like a higher difficulty setting. Of course. Let me get that after. It's definitely a long fight. Can you use the Lyrium more than once? Yeah, it looks like you can. We must fight. Fight. Ah, good. Oh. Ah. I'm here. Ah. 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 We'll make lovely crunching noises. Oh. Ah. Oh. Ah. Oh, wait, so when you kill a spirit, then the anvil glows, and when you hit the anvil, then it hits the boss. 
I saw, you know, I've been clicking the anvils when they lit up, but I didn't realize it was that spirit death was causing it. And if we take too long, they reset. Well, whatever that was, we resisted it. Win, go get the lyrium. Win is literally a lyrium to health converter. Okay. <laughs> All right, that was a fight. Uh. Rubble. What's over As there? Desire. Uh, standard war axe. Highest difficulty is pretty brutal. Considering now, if I was min maxing for this place, I granted Ogren is here for the story, right? But I don't think you have to bring Ogren. Uh, I probably wouldn't have brought Ogren if I was trying like my hardest for a higher difficulty. I probably would have brought in Leliana, the. Yeah, with the Bard Ranger hybrid Leliana that I made. So we had another summon running around. That butt shot of Shale, though. That was clearly made by professional manga artists. I wonder if Shale will say any. I know Shale was DLC, but I'd My like to. My name is Karen. Once, longer ago, You're alive? I care to think. I was a paragon to the dwarves of Orzammar. Caradon, the paragon smith. Alive? Ah, there is a voice I recognize. Shell of the House of Kadath. What? Step forward. You know my name. Is it you that forged me then? Is it you that gave me my name? Have you forgotten then? It has been so Dude, long. Keridan sounds like the, the guy from I They Are Billions. The Gala, you are now, Shale. But before that, you were a dwarf, just as I was. The finest warrior to serve King Valtor, and the only woman to volunteer. The only woman? A dwarf? <laughs> I laid you on the anvil of the void here in this very room, and put you into the form you now possess. The anvil of the void? That is what we seek. If you seek the anvil, then you must care about my story, or be doomed to relive it. Please put me on the anvil and give me pecs like that. Thank you. Um, You made the anvil, I take it? Though I made many things in my time, I rose to fame and earned my status based on a single item. The anvil of the void. It allowed me to forge a man of steel or stone as flexible and clever as any soldier. As an army, they were invincible, but I told no one the cost. Oh god, does it eat baby souls no or something? No smith, however skilled, has the power to create life. To make my golems live, I had to take their lives from elsewhere. Like converting dwarf shale to golem shale? Or, like, additional sacrifices beyond that. <sighs> Ten feet tall and invulnerable? I can think of worse fates. It was an option I could offer warriors who would volunteer to defend their homeland. And some took it. But King Valtor became greedy. He began to force men, castless and criminals, his political enemies, all of them were to be given to the anvil. Why would you want to make criminals invincible? It took feeling the hammer's blow myself to realize the height of my crimes. Uh, so what now? Do you want revenge? Not revenge. The blow of the hammer opened my eyes. My apprentices knew enough to make me as I am, but not enough to fashion a control rod. Law. I retained my mind. You were amongst the most loyal, Shea. You remained at my side throughout, 
And at the end, I sent you a way out of mercy. I do not remember. We have remained entombed here ever since. And I have sought a way to destroy the anvil. Alas, I cannot do it myself. No golem can touch it. No! The anvil is mine! No one will take it from me! Shale, you fought to destroy the anvil once. Do not allow it to fall into unthinking hands again! You speak of things I do not remember. You say we fought. Did you use our control rods to command us to do so? I destroyed the rods. Perhaps my apprentices eventually learned to replace the rods. I do not know. But if so, then all they need is the anvil to make all the slaves they need. You, please, help me destroy the anvil. Do not let it enslave more souls than it already has. So the reason they were willing to turn murderers into golems is because then they could make control rods to control them. You are a paragon. I'll help you if you help support a new king. Don't listen! He's been trapped here for a thousand years, stewing in his own madness. Help me claim the anvil, and you will have an army like you've never seen! You're saying he's Bronca, stewing in madness. Mad, bleeding nugtail. Does this thing you made brood so mothers. You that you can't even see what you've lost to get it? Look around. Is this what our empire should look like? A crumbling tunnel filled with dark spawn spume? The anvil will let us take back our glory! Honestly, Bronca, if you were just not here, I might try to save the anvil. But my god, you're crazy. And so I feel like whatever you're voting for, I should be against that. <laughs> <laughs> you ever been in that situation in life chat? You're like, oh man, I might vote for that guy. But my friend also wants to vote for that guy, and my friend is stupid. I'd never tell him that to his face. So I think I should probably go for the other guy. Like, that's me right now, with Bronca politics. So I'm gonna say, the anvil enslaves living souls, Bronca. It must be destroyed. So it fights with Karadin? Good. That seems right. Thank you, oh, stranger. maybe shale points? Your compassion shames me. No, you will not take it. Not while I still live. Bronca, don't throw your life away for this. We have to destroy the anvil, Bronca. Just give her the blasted thing. She's confused. Maybe once she calms down, we can talk to her. That's... <sighs> She's obsessed. She's beyond redemption. Did she turned her own people into brood mothers and made them give birth constantly so that she could throw the fodder into traps. Plus, she's not that smart, man. She couldn't turn off four gas valves, right? She was down here for like sixty. This is like when the whole like what was it? Moses got lost in the desert for like forty years or something. Like there's a pizza hut across the street from the pyramids. You're not the only master smith here, Karadin. Golems, obey me! Attack! Oh, is that a control rod? My, my friend! You must help me! I cannot stop her alone! Uh, wait. Okay, hold on. Ogren disapproves minus ten. Win approves plus seven. Nothing for Shale. Are you Vil- No, so he's paralyzed and the others are going to attack. Oh, that's awful. Okay. Oh god, I just- I don't even know what just knocked me down. I see a lot of lyrium in the room. 